Absolutely, yeah. Joe's uh, recovered really well. It was only a niggle. Uh, it was a risk that we feel that we didn't need to take, given it was a bit of a dead rubber. And a good opportunity for the guys who've sat on the sideline to, to come in and um, show the form that they're in. So Joe is fit for this game. And David's flown this morning or yesterday? Yes. Sorry, yesterday yes. morning. He missed practice yesterday morning and won't be fit for selection. Um, nothing serious showed up on the scan, which is a huge positive, because initially it, it looked quite painful. Um, but it, as I said, he won't be fit for tomorrow's game. Yeah, um, I think confidence, the big the big word in T20 cricket, you know, confidence and momentum. Um, and at the moment, the guys are feeling a lot more confident than they were maybe after game two. You know, we put in a lot of hard work and didn't get much reward. Um, so having had a win under our belt and looking forward to a three-match series, in what potentially could be very exciting, you know, it's a, it's a great place to play T20 cricket or cricket in general. So everybody's looking forward to it. Yeah, I think I think it can be. I think it sits really well with batting teams having to chase. You know, with the level of skill that, that batsmen have shown, or sort of the the improvement that they've shown in dealing with levels of risk and finding the boundary. Um, I think batting units in general, our teams in general are quite comfortable knowing what their target is. Um, the unease of which, I suppose, posting a score or knowing what a good score is, 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 is becoming more and more difficult.